Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to knowledge sharing session on uh, lease accounting in fusion finances. Uh, let me just state first that uh, when we talk lease accounting, it is uh, different from finance lease in fusion assets. Uh, for this topic, I have already created a, a video of three series. A link of that will be provided in the description of this current video as well. Uh, I wanted to make it clear that uh, this finance lease and uh, the lease accounting what we are going to talk are different uh, as far as the fusion financials is concerned. And how is it different that we will cover in this session. Uh, it will be a session of multiple uh, it will be a series of multiple sessions. So like in the first session, like today, I would like to cover the, the first basics of what is that, uh, what lease accounting is, um, why this module is there in Fijian Finances. And uh, then I will cover uh, how to enable uh, lease accounting in Fijian Finances. So that's what we are going to cover in today's session. Uh, in the next session, probably we will take one business case and uh, then we will configure that. We will do the transactions and configurations in lease accounting. And that's how, that's how we will proceed. So let's get started. So to understand the difference, uh, let us take one example. So let us assume that uh, 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 an organization takes a building on lease, means a rental building, office building they take on rent. Now, according to the new conventions, uh, IFRS, uh, what mandates that any type of lease what you take, uh, that must be, that value of that must be taken to balance it. Earlier, there was a provision that if if it, if it is an operating lease, then no need to take that into balance sheet. But, uh, but now, according to IFRS, because of some challenges which have been faced, uh, IRF, IFRS says that whether it's operating lease or finance lease, you have to take this in balance sheet. You have to show that in balance sheet. And if I'm not wrong, that change has come because uh, Earlier, when the provision was given that, okay, operating lease need not be taken in balance sheet, then what was happening that many finance lease kind of uh, things also were classified as operating lease so that the liability of the lease, uh, no need to show that in balance sheet. In other words, to avoid showing liability for the lease, many finance lease were shown as operating days. Now finding uh, those sort of operational challenges followed by organization kind of creative accounting. The accounting guidelines say that now, whether it's operating days or it's finance days, you need to show that in balance sheet. There's no option given to organization that a lease cannot be shown into balance sheet. Now. So that's a little background. So coming back to where we where were we earlier so organization takes a building on lease so according to the new accounting convention they have to show this in our in their balance sheet now that's a financial part now let us see the operational part what 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 happens when any organization takes a let us say office building on lease for an example so they make an agreement with uh, the vendor and there can be different components of that lease. For an example, they will be paying per month some rental to the owner of that building. Uh, maybe they will insure, if they do some insurance of their uh, stuffs, what they put in that building, like office equipment and all these things, then, def then definitely they will be doing some insurance. So. So, but the insurance amount will not be paid to the building owner. It will be paid to a different supplier, the insurance provider. 
they can be utilities per month such as maintenance cleaning cleaning electricity water and all these things again those will be paid to maybe the real estate maintenance agency the point here i want to make is that there are different types of payments which organization will do for that rental property and for each of the payment the pay can be different this is a general rental agreement which happens now in the beginning i said it is different from the finance lease what we see in fixed asset and this is one of the very important point here why because if we see the finance lease what is given in our fixed asset module there all the payment can be done only to one payee for one lease we can have one payee that was one of the challenge but in the lease accounting model what we are talking there these sort of challenges are mitigated let me just share a bit of comparison what i have just noted down here probably this will help to understand why that finance lease is different from the lease accounting module itself in fiend financial so this section when i talk about this it's a finance lease in the fiend asset and this is the lease accounting model totally different model which is our focus of our this uh, series of video first point in the finance in the fiend asset part for one lease payment payment can be done only to one supplier whereas in the lease accounting model we can do for the one lease payment can be done to different suppliers as i as i explained in the previous section second point by default uh, the finance lease it follows only one accounting representation ifrs representation whereas in lease accounting module okay now I, as we all know that finally accounting gets created in sla right but the feed to the sla goes from the sub ledger kind of like if it is fixed asset then and then fixed asset it will then from ap the feed to the uh, amount feed to the sla goes from the uh, sub ledger model so by default in the finance lease only one type of amount gets calculated which is compliant to ifrs probably but in case of lease accounting by default in lease accounting two different types of amounts for the same lease gets calculated which is compliant to ifrs and asc 842 both so this ifrs amount we can take it to primary ledger and asc 842 we can take to the second ledger or vice versa so this is additional feature which is there in lease accounting another part it's a good part in uh, the fixed asset the finance lease part that it is well integrated to fa module so whenever a uh, asset gets created by using the finance lease uh, sub module of fixed asset the asset maintenance happens in fixed asset module whereas in case of lease accounting this is what uh, i'm not really sure whether it's demerit or why it has been done the asset maintenance for asset maintenance it is not integrated to fixed asset that's the difference here so these are few difference how the finance lease which i said earlier is different from the lease accounting definitely there are more but these are the major points which you will see during this uh, our learning session now from here Uh, let me go to how to enable lease accounting in fiend and financials so, so this has been mentioned in uh, the implementation or user guide but the stuffs are there in different places so i thought let me put everything in one place so that we can get a one one uh, we can get everything in one place when we want to start the implementation of lease accounting so very first thing what we need to do that we need to go to we need to we need to go to the setup maintenance in the finance area it's a opt in feature so click on the change feature opt in 
it will bring to opt-in page of the financiers. Here we have lease accounting. So by default, it's not enabled. Enable it and click on the pencil icon given to the features. And enable different features within lease accounting. So uh, I have seen the roadmap of Oracle also uh, in every uh, in every quarter release, they come up with new features in the lease accounting. Whereas I do not see that kind of new features coming in the finance lease of fixed assets. So from there, what I feel that lease accounting is the module which I think Oracle is going to continue to to keep on enhancing instead of the finance each of the fixed asset. So like for an example, this, uh, uh, there was some, there was incremental payment, this new feature has come where you can do the percentage increase in the rental. You can create agreement kind of thing. So that feature also has come. So those feature you need to enable as per the requirement. Right now I've enabled all. Once we do that, we will get any anyway, village accounting must be there in this function area here, but we will not be getting until unless we do the change, until unless we do, we do the feature opt-in, we cannot get this particular option, manage lease accounting configuration. So once we do the opt-in feature, we will start getting the manage lease accounting configuration. Now this is not, that is not all. Apart from that, we have to, uh, first we have to enable the particular business unit, which is going to use the these accounting. So for that, we need to go to, go to the assigned business unit, a business function and uh, enable lease accounting. So that's the second step. First step was enabling the opt-in, second step, enable the business unit to use the lease account. Now, the third step, we need to create one custom role. By default, Oracle has not given a job role for lease accounting, okay? There is a seeded uh, duty role, which we need to associate to a custom finance role. So we need to create a custom role. And in the second uh, step itself, function security policy, add this particular function security policy, lease contract management. Okay. In the next step, data security policy, we have to create one data security policy for the business unit. And we need to assign few actions. So I've created one custom data security policy. And in that we have to assign three different actions mentioned here. Generate amortization schedule, manage lease configuration, manage lease contract. Now assign this particular uh, rule to user. This rule you have to assign to the user and then give the data access for the particular business unit to the user. So these are the steps which we need to follow to start using the digital accounting. Once you do all this, the moment you log into your user ID, you will get a tab here called lease accounting, okay? Now, uh, once you click on this, the leases, now the lease accounting is enabled in the instance. So now we have different uh, options here. Definitely we will talk those options within the next section, in the next session. So the very first thing what we need to do is manage lease configuration. So this you can access from here as well as from the setup and maintenance. So that is it for this session. In the next session, we are going to take a particular, uh, we will take 
Uh, we will go through the lease configuration and then we will take a business case. As an example, I in, in the when I showed the difference right between the lease accounting and the finance lease, I took one particular building on lease where we are paying the amount to different suppliers. So that kind of example we will take and proceed further to show how we can map that in lease accounting module of fusion finances. So thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.